Hey guys, this is Jamie DeBose with ZimplicityNow.com and today I want to show you how to create custom opt-out links inside your Infusionsoft app. Now, a lot of times I get the question, you know, Jamie, I don't want everybody to have to unsubscribe from every single thing um, anytime they choose to opt out from an email that I send them and how can I actually um, update those opt-out links at the bottom of my emails. So what we're going to do is navigate to the automation links area and you can find this by going to marketing and then settings and then clicking on automation links. And we're going to go down to the update slash opt out links area and click on create an update slash opt out. And for our test here, we'll just name this weekly email opt out. Now in the HTML email display, this is what's going to show at the bottom of your email. And I personally like to leave this blank and then just include the link text. And for this particular example, I would say something like unsubscribe to weekly emails. And it's going to hyperlink this entire bit of information here. Um, I don't send out plain text emails, so I don't need this particular part. So what I'm going to do is click on save. And now it's going to give me the opt out page display information. So this is where you're controlling what the subscriber actually sees once they click that opt out link. So I'm going to reiterate here that this is to unsubscribe. Okay, so in the opt out description, I'm going to describe what this action of unsubscribing will do. Here I'm reminding them this will only remove them from the weekly email list for this particular example. Then we'll click on save. And probably the most important part of this whole process is coming back up to the actions tab. And here I'm going to select, you can select a range of actions that happens when somebody clicks on this link. For this particular one, I'm going to remove the weekly tag and I've created a test tag here. So it's going to remove that test tag from their account and they're not going to be receiving any more weekly emails because I have a saved search in my contact list for those who specifically receive weekly emails from me. So once you've created your action set, you're going to save and close. And now we'll see our new weekly email opt-out down here at the bottom. Now let's see how we actually get this into our broadcasts. So if you'll scroll over to the edit button, down in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see some JavaScript, some code down here. And the only thing you need to know is that number 15 right there. That's going to be the specific opt-out link code number. So we're going to remember that code. We're going to go start a new broadcast. Or you can create a template here if you wanted to um, you know, have this inserted into all of your emails. And at the very bottom, I'm going to delete or edit or update here the opt-out information and I'm going to replace it with the little squiggly sign, which I can't remember what that's called right now, opt out underscore 15 squiggly line. So now when I actually send myself a test of this, you'll see that unsubscribe from weekly emails opt out is changed down here at the bottom of the email. So here you'll see their options to either unsubscribe just from the weekly emails, which will again remove that tag, or remove from all mailing lists, which will mark their email address as not deliverable because they're actually unsubscribing from everything. But it's really nice to give them the option here to do one of those two things because sometimes people don't want to maybe unsubscribe from everything. We're giving them options to choose the frequency of hearing from us. So there you have it folks, that is how you can create customized opt-out links to insert into your Infusionsoft broadcasts and campaigns. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.